Hi and welcome to my brake restoration video here. Today I'm gonna be taking the engine out. I'm gonna be taking the transmission box out. There's gonna be fire, there's gonna be smoke, and I'm <clears throat> gonna fight like a madman to take apart some old parts. So um, yeah, let's get going. Okay guys, now it's time for me to disassemble the engine because most of this stuff been, have to be disconnected in order for me to lift the engine out of the car together with the transmission box so we can get to that main brake cylinder we have there in on you know on the firewall Okay, now the front bumper is off the vehicle. So now for me, it's just to take like all of these sort of hoses and connections away. Okay guys, the next thing I wanna tackle here is actually the starter engine. I start out with just removing the wires. And then I move on to removing the balls that actually holds the engine in place. Okay guys, now it's time to lift up the engine here. I just place the jack and I'm just gonna sort of give it a little bit. There it goes. Okay guys, I hope you can see what's going on here. I usually want use one of these right here. Give me a little more access. As I said before, this is quite tricky on these cars. Because then it's actually going under here. And there it is. I just use my fingers. Take it all the way out. There it is. And then the top side. It was there, yeah. And then it's just to take the starter out here. Oh, there it comes. Okay guys, we are here when the engine is finally loose. Yeah, you can see here, every bolt has been sort of taken out of it and it's now finally ready to go out of the engine compartment. Okay guys, now the engine is out of the vehicle. Um, some of the times I have tested this engine, it had this like sort of glonk, glonk, glonk sound. And I thought to myself, it could be the bearings inside the engine. But to my big relief, I just found out that it's actually the clutch plate right here that is loose. So right now I'm gonna take this apart and see what's going on underneath. Now I think I have done it the right way here. And these sort of, this little much grease here. But these sort of small plates here are all wind out, so it won't get loose again. And now there is no rubbling whatsoever. Okay guys, the next part of this task, maybe it's a little difficult to see here, but let me get some light in the engine compartment. It's actually to unbolt these things right here. And also to start disassembling this plate in here. It's a little difficult to see, it's in there. And again, the same on the other side. And then there is actually a bolt on the, you know, in the cabin that holds this entire setup in place. Okay guys, right now I have loosened all the bolts here on either side and together with this plate in here as well, maybe a little difficult to see. So right now I just need to disconnect these two here and actually take the transmission box out. There's actually two joints here. We got this one right here, which is the, which is the line that goes on to the front wheels. And we got this line right here on the back goes inside the cabin and follows the floor to the back reels. So that's to the drum on the back and this is to the drums on the front. Right now, as you can see, the line here to the front has been severed. So I have to sort of 
try to get this loose. Yeah, nice. The main cylinder here is still functional. I think it is. It is. It isn't stuck, and it feels okay. But um, the only way for me to sort of real test it is actually to to connect the new lines to it, and uh, of course, make sure everything is tight, and then pour in some brake fluid and sort of feel the pedal and see if if this one actually works. Now here for the other part. That's a little tricky. Let me just place that there. And this is this is really not gonna be easy at all. There is this sort of joint links that sits here. I got the other one in container here beside me. I'm gonna show you in a minute. Unfortunately, I don't have enough space here to take the camera in with me. So now you maybe see a lot of my head here. And the thing is that we have absolutely no room to maneuver in here. So this is gonna be the positive part is maybe that I can use the ring side of the <laughs> Okay now we're back here. So let me just start out by saying this isn't the right correct or the correct tool for the job here. Because I don't have the exact key for this. <clears throat> Shit. This guy sits Yep. There it came. But you know what? It's gonna be so much fun, you know, to have these brakes fixed because then I can get inside the car, start her up and take her for for first sort of test test drive. And I haven't done that since I bought it because you know, right now it, the car cannot stop and it's a little bit too unsafe. <clears throat> Here it comes. There it is. Let's see. You didn't see that before, but I sort of made a little hole here for it. See if we can take it out. There it comes. Yeah. We took this out uh, and we know where it came from. And of course we have to disassemble this as well, but um, I haven't sort of, I've cheated a bit here because yesterday I had this one and this is from the other side. We have two sides, remember, and this one is a little special because it also has the electricity for the brake, uh, the brake lamp, so it detaches that the brakes are sort of on and it should sort of flare up in the back so you can see your braking. But this one has been sort of sitting in like this just engine oil here. Let me sort of try and can ungrease it a bit. Yeah, I think we have it right, right there actually. Oh, there's a little thing in the cloth here. Just try to see if I can get him to move. Oh, there it was. There it is. And there it comes. Oh God. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. This is not good. Let me tell you guys. Let's try and cool it here on the top. Okay guys, I just spared you for a lot of time here, back and forth with this little thing. But right now I've tried this sort of thing here and I think, yeah, it's actually going. Ha! 
Okay, so now we're back here again. And we're gonna put this thing here back together. I just gave it a little sort of love here so we can actually can see what is what. Let me just take a little of this gunk here away. And when it starts to sort of give it a little love, this chain fell off. And again, let me know guys, if you are a small sub expert than I am, does this chain have to be connected here? Because it seems to me a little strange, but um, yeah. Let me know in the comments if um, there is something I have missed. Okay, let's see how this goes together. I think that one fits. And yeah, because there's the washer. And then there is like these two. It's a little, maybe I think it's a little difficult to see. But there's these two holes here on the inner side of this little guy standing with here. And of course they have to match the hole in the we have right there. So it's actually distributing the brake fluid here. It should. It does. There it is. Because there we have it. Of course, this is not needed. It's just to holding it together. So I know it sort of aligns this way. And then in the wall of the car here, with the new joint, and um, this put together, new brake lines to the main cylinder. As I showed you earlier, one to the one side, and this one goes out to this side, and and this one comes from the main cylinder.